Hi, welcome to Storytime with Mr. Howell. We're getting together again this week because it's summertime. We're only doing three a week. You know, I got stuff to do too. Critical, important, summary stuff to do like naps and more naps. There's your post wake up nap, your pre lunch nap, your post lunch nap, pre dinner nap, after dinner nap, and then bedtime. Trust me, there are some critical things happening. Now, if you remember from yesterday when we read, uh, I said we were going to be doing some Mo Willems for a moment. Mo for a moment. <laughs> so today, we're going to be reading Leonardo, the Terrible Monster. Terrible Monsters. Okay, so if it gets a little scary, you might want to pull a blankie up or call your dog over and sit with your dog. Or if you have a protective cat, you could sit with your cat. Or just wait till you hear the rest of the story and then you'll say, what, was, what were you so scared about? Who knows? So, Mo Willem, your friend, Mo Willems, presents Leonardo, the Terrible Monster. By the way, he does the writing and the art. He's a true genius. <clears throat> Leonardo was a terrible monster. He's right there. He's tiny. I guess cute would be bad for a monster. Let's keep going. He couldn't scare anyone. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. Then down here it says, not all the teeth are shown. He wasn't big like Eleanor. And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid, kid in the whole world and scare the tuna salad out of him. Yeah! One shouldn't have tuna salad scared out of them. Tuna salad is delicious. One should eat tuna salad. Leonardo researched until he found the perfect candidate. Sam. 
but the people in the room behind me couldn't hear. That was Sam. Leonardo snuck up on the poor, unsuspecting boy. Scary. I'm scared. And the monster gave it all he had. <laughs> Those were monster noises. Until the little boy cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo. I did it. I finally scared the tuna salad out of someone. Again, tuna salad is delicious. No, you did it, snapped Sam. Oh, yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? My mean big brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I was still playing with it, and then he broke it on purpose. And it was my favorite toy, and I tried to fix it, but I couldn't. And I got so mad, I kicked the table, and I stubbed my toe on the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got some soap in my eyes, trying to wash out the bird poo. That's bird, my brother's cockatoo pooped on my head, and I don't have any friends in my tummy. <laughs> That's why. Then Leonardo made a very big decision. It's okay. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. But that didn't mean he couldn't try to scare his friend every now and then. The end. So there you go. You don't have to be a terrible monster. You can be a good friend too. Maybe that's what you should do today. Think about the times you've tried to be a terrible monster and go be a good friend to those people. You never know what they're going through. You know, a lot of times we see kids and you make fun of them or you tease them or something, but you don't know what's happening in their life. And that's not polite. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna make sure that we're always being a good friend, not a terrible monster. That said, thank you guys for tuning in to Storytime with Mr. Hallow. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you next time.
on Storytime with Mr. Howell.